Hello, everybody. Welcome to Jeff Cook. It is Wednesday night, and we're on the kitchen with McCain for the month of March, which is beautiful, and um, showcasing some lovely frozen veg, um, and talking to you guys a little bit about the value of it, really, something that sometimes gets not falsely, some myths out there, um, but something can make your lives a little bit easier, and you know that's what we're all about, is making your life easy. Um, so we've got a beautiful recipe that we're going to cook with you all tonight, um, and we'll run through it in a few minutes. Very simple, nice, short recipe in this ingredient list, which um, always makes the shopping easier as well. Um, and that's what it's about. So we have lovely balsamic glazed roast vegetables with some trout. So we've got some lovely veg um, and keeping it nice and light and lean and serving it with a beautiful protein, some omega-3 rich trout, which you could use any fish if you want to as well. Um, nice protein, nice veg, and we are a four away. So, Pop into the comments and let me know who's here, how you guys are doing, and um, say how do you do, um, and we'll uh, we'll get cracking in a few minutes. There's not much to do. You can preheat your oven to 190 in the meantime if you want to, but apart from that, just uh, pour yourself a glass of water um, and say good evening. So I've got one pop, one person popping in here. Good evening. Um, how are you doing? Um, hopefully you guys have a um, your ingredients with you whatever fish you want to use um, and then your vegetables your mccain roast veg the classic roast veg nice variety of things in there um, and this one is comes with a balsamic glaze so that's way to get some beautiful flavor in it without having to do too much which is great and um, mini creek is here good evening mini nicole how are you doing and um, hopefully you guys are having a fabulous wednesday our first wednesday of march so um i can run through the ingredients like i said there are a couple of things fish whatever you're having um i said some beautiful trout maybe some salmon if you want to um those are omega-3 rich ones you could do this with some hake or some king clip or anything really you just want a nice beautiful fish you can also keep it vegetarian and um, if you want um, and you could put the glaze you'll see in this recipe we get a bit of glaze not only into the veg but also onto your fish to carry the flavor over. But you could do it with some chicken, you could do it with some tofu, and you could get an a alternative source of protein if you want, depending on whatever you want to do. So swap it in, swap it out if you'd like, and whatever your choice is. If you're doing your fish, make sure it's out of the fridge. We want it to not be cold when it goes into the pan in a few minutes, getting it close to room temperature, just so it cooks a little more evenly. Um, that's your little tip for tonight. But our veg is still in the freezer. So the great thing about this, it just, it's going to cook from frozen. So you don't have to defrost it. You don't have to cut and prep. That's all done for you. So saving you a little bit of time. Um, and that's what's beautiful for a little midweek whip together. Um, so nice and easy. All right. Um, good evening. Um, everyone else who's popped in here saying hi in the comments. And um, we've also got a little giveaway tonight. So um, all you have to do is be here and watching, which is cool. Uh, we've got a lovely little hamper, courtesy of the guys at McCain, which is all sorts of things. Little apron, like uh, yours truly is showing off. There's all sorts of things in it. Some of these beautiful utensils, check that out. Lovely wooden utensils. Great about wood, these are bamboo. Um, so you can use them in whatever your cooking vessel is, even non-sticks, great. Lovely little knife and fork set, carving knife and carbon fork check that out which is super um we've got a little wooden board here magic and um, there's a little glass uh, roasting tray not like this one some of slightly different and uh some nuts lovely all you've got to do is pop into the comments let me know that you share and um, hashtag made with mccain and that's going to get you an entry into it and whoever i feel like um liking Whoever sends me a little bit of love in the comments, we'll win that and we'll send it off to you guys. Um, it is an awesome prize hamper. Uh, team captain is here, Jono, how's it going? Uh, Louis ready to roll outside of the kitchen, love it. Always love it when Louis in the kitchen. Um, loving the utensils, Greer is cooking tonight. Um, she's found a few more things that were in the hamper. Um, some lovely little covers for your bowls and your pots or pans or whatever you want to use them for. I thought they were hats. 
Shepherds. That could be as well. Confused for Harry and Izzy. There we go. So we've got uh, all sorts of sizes with them, but uh, you can use them any way you want. It keeps the hair out of your dish too. So those are cool. All little denim matchy match. Hides my bald spots, so I think it's quite a it's quite a good one. Uh, Minnie's in with a shout, made with McCain. Love it, Minnie. Well then, um, Tracy. Hello, just watching tonight. Um, you're on the farm and not able to get to town this week to source ingredients. All right, so stick this one into the recipe bag and uh, you can do it. Beautiful thing about frozen stuff, particularly like if you're doing some meal prep or you live out of town, get into town and stock up on your frozen goodies because they're going to last longer in the freezer. The great thing in one of the myths about um, frozen, frozen veg, frozen fruit, all sorts of frozen produce is that it loses its nutrition, which isn't the case. The great thing about it, it's picked process so they might get the skin off or chop it up and then freeze it straight away so you actually lock in a lot of the good nutrition so um you can keep the good nutrients in there your vitamin and mineral content stays a little bit higher you've locked it in it's in the freezer it's in the deep freeze nice and low temperature it means when it comes out it goes straight into getting cooked um, and you've locked in some of that nutrition so one of the values of using the frozen veg nutrition's really good locked in goodness um, and then as well, it can help you with meal prep, make sure there's always something on hand. Um, and what's great about these particular ones, if you're doing from can as well, just cook from frozen, which is great. You don't have to defrost anything. Five minutes before you think, oh, what am I making tonight? You go into the, the Jeff Club app, find that recipe. You've got some frozen veg and you know it's in your freezer for you. How easy is that? Um, Antoinette's joining tonight. Lovely Antoinette. Um, Amanda's making this live. Amanda, it's always so lacquer when you're cooking live with us. Um, somebody's using calamari. Your eyes are worse than mine. No, um, someone's using some calamari, which will be delicious as well. Um, beautiful, nice, lean protein. Um, Amanda's also popped her entry into the competition. It's Hashtag made with UK. Sandine down at the bottom. Sandine's also there. Lovely Sandine. Muchupi, hello. How are you doing? Um, someone just checking in to say hi. Hubby made dinner, so you're going to catch up another night. Um, should have sent this one to Hubby. Just tell him how. That's how. No, keep this there. one in the, the bag for you to do rather than no. make Hubby do the, the difficult ones. <laughs> <laughs> uh sasha is in it to win it made with mccain lovely guys super super easy uh steve jones how's it going nice one um beautiful guys so we're gonna get cooking the oven is at 190 degrees um and literally gonna stroll across i'm gonna send my sous chef to the freezer and she's gonna grab a bag of mccain for us and um, straight out of the freezer um, and it's going to go into our uh, roasting tray, a little bit of olive oil and a little bit of cinnamon. That's it. Super simple. Cinnamon and balsamic <laughs> go nicely together. So that's how we're getting the flavors to play. This is what it looks like. There's another one as well that's got a harissa sachet in it. Um, so if you want like a, you've actually seen we've got quite a few harissa flavored recipes in the app. You can go play around with that one. This one's our balsamic glaze. So we're just going to cut them open. Yeah. Locked in essential nutrients, no preservatives, less wastage, frozen at its freshest. McCain, behind one, stand many. Lovely. That explains it beautifully. Um, we lost some going there. That's amazing. So that is our glaze. You'll see you'll get a little sachet. So just a little bit of warm water and we're going to let that defrost. You only need it in about 20 minutes when that comes out of the oven. Okay, so roasting tray. Our veg is going to go in there and a beautiful mix of stuff. Right, so we've got some red peppers, yeah. we've got some carrots, we've got some sweet potato, uh, all in there. Beautiful and a little bit of onion. All right, so they're all frozen. A little bit of olive oil, please. Just next to that. You put the wrong oven on. No. <laughs> A um, little bit of olive oil and a pinch of cinnamon. So we're just going to sprinkle that over. And then once these are close to roasted, the last few minutes, we're going to get the temperature up. And the glaze goes on. And uh, as I've mentioned a little earlier, 
Balsamic and cinnamon play really nicely together. So those are the flavors we're going to get here. You can really smell it. Cinnamon, lovely olive oil. I'm just going to give it a sprinkle of some salt. And then we'll go ahead. Kath says good evening and hello to Bria. Hello, Catherine. Hey, you've been on a cook for a while. We've seen you guys forever. There we go. Kath, and in the oven at 190. Okay, so that'll be in there for about 18 to 20 minutes. Every five minutes, just give it a little shake around so that it all cooks nice and evenly, browned beautifully. Um, and in 20 minutes time, it's gonna be done. And um, we're almost done. Out the oven, glaze on. And shake it up a little bit more. Ramp up the heat and then get it nice and crispy. And while that's going, uh, we'll cook our chops. Okay, so I wanna catch up with whoever's popped into the comments here. Louis uh, has your sweet potato fries from the cane and the air fryer as well. So good with a little bit of garlic and herb spice. Beautiful. So add a second veg. Always better if you want a little bit of extra starch in here as well, depending on your goals. I know uh, Louis uh, Louis trying to feed those biceps, so getting in a little bit of extra sweet potato. Um, training hard, which is super. Um, and using more of the cane option, which is great. Mandy Swanapool made it with cane. Lovely. We've got loads of entries coming in here. For our beautiful hamper, Lauren McKay Kalaris, love it. Beverly Paulson, good evening to you as well. And Tony, how's it going? You bought yourself a whole bunch of McCain goodies today. Lovely. Thought there's a little bit of a uh, Mexican design going on there. Tony's in the hot seat next week. Um, lovely little dish as well. Nancy, a good evening to you. Um, so, super simple, guys. We've got the veg straight out of the freezer. Um, went into the baking tray, some olive oil, sprinkle of cinnamon in there at 190 and we're just going to let it go for a little while. Add that one in advance so you don't have to wait for all the goodness to happen and we'll uh, sprinkle that on in a minute. All right. Uh, cooking some salmon. Nancy, you've also got some salmon and fish veg. Beautiful. Veg, fish plays really nicely together. Just going to stick our um, sachet and some more water. Yeah, and it'll defrost and it'll look beautiful flavors in there. Uh, Antoinette used different veggies from McCain for your dinner tonight. Lovely, Antoinette, let us know what you use. Um, there's loads of little interesting things in the range, which is great. All prepped for you as well, so saving you time, which is great. Um, processed into a couple of mashes that are going really like dust things, wedges and chips. You're going to see a few of those later in the month as well. So we're showcasing a different recipe each Wednesday, which is going to be fun. And hopefully, you guys are going to cook with us. We've got loads of giveaways throughout the month. Um, and uh, for tonight, I'll run through them again. Lovely little set here. We've got the apron, our cooking utensils. Really like these. Might not send those back. Um, we've got our mittens, so when it comes out the oven. Um, I must say, this knife's pretty sharp as well. You'll have to you'll have to slice and dice. You don't need it a lot when you're using your McCann things, but um, beautiful little Nice there, which is going to be super. Um, Kath, fish tomorrow. So looking forward to this recipe. Beautiful. Just checking in. Uh, I'm sure someone in the big there is cooking tonight. Kath, on bulk. So beautiful option. You can buy your veg in bulk, prepped or ready to go. Remember, hashtag made with, made with McCain um, and you'll enter into the tonight's giveaway. And then I'll send things across once you done. So, guys, convenient, locked in nutrition, really good, really simple. Um, and all we're doing is waiting for the veg, um, essentially my second batch of veg to cook. Um, and every five minutes, we give it a little shake around. Yeah. So, my chef has left. Sorry. So just keep it, keep it going. You're hot. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, every five minutes, just shake it around, give it a stir around so it can brown nice and evenly. Kath wants the knife. And Adele Creel, hello, hello. How's it going? I thought I saw Olga. Hello, Olga. I know you've been so busy and haven't joined us for a cook in a while. Tony That's got nice a lovely to message from Olga this morning, who was loving all of the morning um, sessions that we've been putting together. Um, Antoinette, nice variety of veg, um, all sorts of things, different color, which is great. 
um, veg-based, plant-based um, nutrition is always going to ramp up your dinners, your lunches, whatever your meal is. And so make sure you're making the most of that, which is super. So let's, uh, I'm going to show you the one that I did a couple minutes ago, um, just to bring him up. So after 20 minutes in the oven, you're going to look beautiful like that. A little bit of glaze on today. So it's out of the water. Okay, your little sachet of some glaze. Um, and some of that's going to go onto the veg. Okay, let's ramp the oven up as well. So about 220 when it goes back in for five minutes on that. Okay, so that's our previously made, our, our other one's still going in there. Um, and just give it a mix around so that you get that glaze onto everything. Okay, so they're pretty much cooked after 18 to 20 minutes and there'll be a little bit of a bite in them still. You don't want to overcook them and still leave a little bit of texture in there. Now your flavors in, so you've got the cinnamon, you can smell the cinnamon and we've got the glaze on top. So once it's just about ready, um, that's going to go back into the oven. So we're just going to wait for it to get a little bit hotter and then it'll go back in. Okay. All right, um, Amanda, interestingly, you heard before that frozen vegetables are actually fresher as they're frozen when fresh. Such a good option for meal prep. Hashtag made with McCain. Amanda, you are giving the information that uh, I needed to get. So um, you don't need me. Amanda's uh, popped into the comments there with um, a beautiful fact, dispelling the myth that um, frozen stuff isn't as good or as healthy for us and for exactly that reason so um because it's typically frozen straight after it's picked means all the stuff that was good and going for it right off the tree or out of the ground or whatever it is is locked in and that feeds and keeps it in and sometimes with fresh vegetables it's quite a lot of days from once it's picked till you go and grab it out of the shelf so um you might lose some uh, nutrition, some vitamins and minerals, and they can just degrade slowly over time. So the beautiful thing about frozen is it keeps that in there. So spot on, Amanda. Um, thank you for sharing your little tidbit with us. Um, Tracy had to cook this recipe earlier, but watching now to see if you missed any tips and tricks. It looks delicious. Can't wait to tuck it. Beautiful, Tracy. So let us know how it tastes. Not a lot of tricky or tippy things going on. Literally as simple as it gets loads of flavor the prep and chopping and everything was done for us no wastage either nothing that we've got to check out it's all there ready to go and um, we've now got the glaze onto the uh, par cooked veg our oven is nice and hot and we're going to stick it in for about another five or six minutes and i'm going to cook the fish okay so that one's in and it's hot in here antoinette love cooking can't see what that emoji is uh, but you love cooking with jet and mccain i love that you love it antoinette kathleen making mccain sweet potato fries it's lovely antoinette using steak super i'm gonna move that out the way we're just gonna get our there we go into view and over a medium high heat we're gonna get cooking with our chops or whatever protein you're using for the nuts. Okay. So, it's been out of the fridge for about 40 minutes, so it's come to room temperature, and that's one of the tricks to cooking your proteins, that it cooks nice and evenly. Yeah. All right, if you haven't, check on your veg, give it a little shake around, turn it over so that you're cooking nice and evenly, a little bit of everywhere. Okay, so uh, let's, see if we can, let's get our fish in the view as well. We're going to bring it to the pan to about a medium hot heat. We're going to put it on the skin for three minutes. Most of the cooking is going to happen from there. Just flip it over for a minute. And um, once that's done, the veg is going to be ready as well, and you're going to be ready to serve. Super simple. Uh, Steve says it looks delicious. Is there a recipe to download? Steve, there is. Um, someone might pop it into the comments for us. 
um, or you can go into Jeff Club, uh, go look at the live session for today, um, and it's linked there, or go into our recipe bank, and one of the 483 recipes that you will find will be this beautiful, delicious McCain one, so you can go search for it as well. Uh, Antoinette says McCain's McClan always the best for you, making your life a little bit easier. Beautiful. All right, so a uh, little bit of oil into the pan. Okay. And I'm just going to season the skin because that's the bit that's going to go into our pan first. Yeah. And three minutes. Don't fidget, you just want it to cook nice and consistently. Um, how you know it's cooked is when it doesn't stick. If you try to turn your fish from the skin side and it sticks, it means you've turned it a little bit too soon. And it hasn't been hot enough, maybe you fidgeting and playing around a little bit too much with it. Put it in the pan and let it go. Put your veg in the oven and let it go. Um, chat to your wife or your husband. Pour yourself a glass of uh, nice ice cold water um, and enjoy a couple minutes of peace and quiet before it's time to tuck in. So I'm going to season the top of the fish. We didn't use all of the glaze because the lovely flavor that's going on with the veg, we're just going to drizzle a little bit over here once we're done. So um, once it comes out, last little bit of glaze and we're going to be ready to serve. Super. Um, how are you guys all getting along? Hopefully everyone's on track. Check on your veg. Give it another stir around. And you might need another seven or eight minutes before it comes out. Turn up that heat in the oven, drizzle with glaze and back in. I just uh, obviously did some in advance, but you guys didn't have to wait for the beautifulness. Um, Kath, you've got lots of frozen McCain veggies in your freezer, especially some fries. Uh, you can see this beautiful smoke here. We're cooking, cooking nice and hot. Um, great snack for your students. I'm pretty sure those will find their way into your air fryer quite a lot. Nice easy way to do it. The McCain frozen peas um, did the trick in our lentil the Bertie. Great place to stick those. Leslie forgot it was Wednesday. You're going to watch it later. Anything fish is a winner for you. Beautiful. So this will be a banker. It's nice, quick, easy, and um, really simple to do. And our fish is cooking nicely. We've got our effects going here. Even. You can see that. Smelling good. And... Um, all right, so check on your veg, guys. Beautiful. Smells good in the oven there. And just another few seconds. Three minutes. Fish, skin side down. Last minute um, on top. Particularly with trout, you don't want to overcook it. It's still going to be a little bit of color in the middle. Um, you don't want it to be too dry. Um, the legendary yarn has popped the recipe into the comments. Beautiful. Thank you, Yana. Okay, so it doesn't stick. You can see I've just moved it there. It means the skin's ready for it to be turned over. Oh, look at that. Nice color on the skin. Looks beautiful. Um, Noel, what are my thoughts on frozen sweet potato oven chips? Beautiful option as well. So if you want some starch at night, and um, it's a perfectly good way to do it. Um, sweet potato, you'll actually see Tony's got a beautiful recipe with McCain coming up. This um, might be next week um, or in two weeks time. That is loaded sweet potato fries, getting nice balance on top of it, beautiful toppings and flavor. It's a great way to do it. Um, sweet potato gives you some fiber and some vitamin E, um, so that's why it's a bit different to normal potatoes. A bit more fiber, a bit more vitamin E, um, but it's a good option. And because you're not going to typically fry them, you get some oven baked options. Uh, it means you can keep them nice and low in fat. So sweet potato chips, um, even some potato wedges or fries that you oven bake are a good way to get um, something in at dinner. Liana, the kitchen is smelling amazing from the cinnamon. Uh, it just lightens it all up, which is great. Um, Antoinette, Jeff, cook with McCain. So that was about a minute on top there. I was counting in my head as we were going. 
and that trout is beautiful. Let me bring it up there. My second camera has a little bit slow, but lovely color, nice and crispy on top, skin at the bottom, nice and color, crispy. That's beautiful. Just gonna give that a second while we grab the veg out of the oven. Gonna grab that veg first. And we're gonna get ready to plate up. We put a little bit of the drizzle onto our salmon. What do you have to hear? The mist. Those are quite nice, uh, puffy, solid ones. Your hands will not burn. Okay. Those are out. I'm gonna stick it on there. Lovely. Look at that. Uh, that was my plate. Okay, we're cleaning up before we even eat. Can you eat the skin, Steve? Of course you can. The beautiful thing about most skin really is it's it's 100% protein uh, once it's cooked. So there's a little bit of fat, but when you cook it, that actually comes out. So if you're left with crispy skin, and fish is a good example of this, and um, it's actually just extra protein to your meal and it gives you texture. So if the skin that's on salmon or other fish, beautiful. Um, yeah, and you also get uh, some added goodness, a little bit of collagen, people eat all these fancy things, and that's what you can get in the skin, which is lovely. Amanda loves her sweet potatoes. Amanda, have you missed something? Hopefully not. Let me give you a quick recap. So, um, the veg came out the oven, straight into a pan, 190 degrees uh, in the oven, just a little bit of olive oil and cinnamon, and in for 20 minutes. Um, then came out, I just did this one in advance, which is very hot. Um, so that was the one that just saved us waiting those uh, 20 minutes for it. After 20 minutes out, a little bit of a glaze, ovens at 220 and then um, get it just to kind of brown up and look beautiful. Um, and that's that, while that was just browning up, salmon, trout, uh, chicken, calamari, whatever you guys were using, um, cook your protein. And now we're just ready to plate. Beautiful. Okay. So we're going to just on a bed of some of this lovely colorful veg. Make sure you get your peppers, your onions, your sweet potato, get it all in there, your carrots. Okay, and if you want to add a little something on the side, you could always add some extra green veg. Uh, Kath had mentioned the peas, um, which would be great as well. Another way to get a little bit of green in here. Okay, but you'll see the recipe depending on your needs. And if you're in Jeff Club, how your portions might change just based on whatever you can kind of get. Okay, so we've got that. We've got a lovely little bit of salmon on top. And I'm just going to, a little bit of that glaze that we kept. Just get a little bit onto our salmon. Okay. I'll just carry the flavors through. So that's what we've got. Lovely, can smell the cinnamon, can smell the balsamic. Um, so you get nice, there's a bit of, bit of sweetness, bit of sort of tartness from the vinegar, which is great. And we've got all the beautiful nutrition, loads of flavor locked in, um, ready to go from the veg. Nice lean protein, a little bit of healthy fat from it. Um, so it's lovely. Frozen at its freshest, guys. That's what it's about. Um, and we've made that with the cane tonight. Super simple, quick and easy. Um, I hope you guys have all followed along and your kitchen is smelling beautiful. You might just be waiting a little bit longer for your veg to finish cooking. If you're cooking along, if you're just saving this recipe to do tomorrow or over the weekend or whatever it is, you now know how it's all done. Um, it's just the honey in the recipe. Where does that fit in? I didn't actually add it. Good call, Amanda. Um, you can pop a little bit onto your veg when you're roasting it. Um, so when the balsamic went on, give it a little drizzle of that honey. Um, but I didn't add any. Uh, Steve says, thank you. Leslie, a delish. Um, Nancy, so looking forward to eating mine. It looks more green and slight variation in the veg that you stuck in there. Carol uh, says, looking delicious. Um, and your mouth is watering. 
just want to catch there was a comment someone was asking about which page uh was this frozen veggies leslie yes you joined us a little bit late um where has my packet gone it has disappeared but um Priya's cleaning up behind me here. It's already in the recycling. Uh, but, but beautiful roast veg mix from McCain. Um, and this one comes with a little flavor sachet, balsamic glaze, um, which is beautiful. So uh, cooked from frozen. It's already chopped for you, ready to go. Um, went straight into the roasting tray. And then we cooked that off 20 minutes, then gave it another five with the glaze on top. And that's been the base of our um, dish there. And we've added our protein on top. Minnie says hers looks delicious. Um, Kat talking about her air fry, getting things nice and crispy, which is beautiful. Antoinette says thank you. Uh, and to the wife and team as well. Um, Tracy enjoying dinner. Lovely. Sasha says it looks great. We're just still in the oven. You'll just be a few minutes away and then you'll be enjoying it. Hopefully your kitchen's starting to smell nice. I can smell the balsamic and cinnamon under my nose here. Um, Liana, this is going to be awesome. Um, simple for the win, says no, just that. Louis, thank goodness. Uh, now Kate can cook too. Uh, I wouldn't, that's maybe pushing the boat out a little bit far, Louis, but we'll have to get Kate into the kitchen with some McCain, and I think, I think it'll sort her out um, and make life a little bit easier. Um, uh, could McCain start frozen fruit? You'll have to ask them, Kate. So, um they're obviously all about frozen veg um but who knows what's up this year. amanda says yum beautiful Vissal, that looks amazing glad you're with us Vissal. beautiful guys post your pics into jeff nourish tag, tag us and uh mccain underscore sa um and we love to see the beautiful creations that you come up with maybe you varied up your protein then something a little bit different dying to see how that calamari comes out as well um, and I'm going to do a quick uh, random pull of our comments here. And uh, we're going to find a winner. We're going to find a winner. Um, cool, cool. Let's see. Up and down. Remember, hashtag McCain, made with McCain. Um, I want to find one that works for us here. And uh, keep it coming in. If you want a hashtag made with McCain, and uh, remember the beautiful hamper that we've got. Let's see who's all in it. Um, we've, huh? Um, Gria's shouting at me for some reason. I don't know why. No, I'm shouting at you. I think she wins. <laughs> <laughs> who, who's your vote going for? Um, lovely. Let's see. Okay, we have, I'm going to randomize it here. Antoinette, you little legend. Hashtag made with McCain. Um, we're going to send you that beautiful hamper. And um, carving knife, carving fork, this little uh, beautiful denim beauty, um, some covers for your pans, pots, bowls, um, the lovely little bamboo mix, um, a roasting tray. There's all sorts going in there. It is beautiful. Maybe a few things that are lying in front of me that I've missed out. Um, but um, Antoinette says, whoop, lucky day. Um, Joanna says, congratulations. Um, and we've got more of them to give away over the rest of the month, guys. So make sure you live with us, you get stuck in, um, you're cooking these creations, you're posting them, um, and getting involved. Maybe bring someone along to the cook next Wednesday and um, for those loaded sweet potato fries. Really looking forward to them. And you asked about them, so we're doing something anyway. Guys, have a fabulous Wednesday. Hope you're having a great time in the kitchen. As soon as it comes out, plate it up, get stuck in, um, and we will see you all same time next week for another session. Maybe it's okay. Till then, guys. Cheers. Locked in essential nutrients, no preservatives, less wastage, frozen at its freshest. McCain, behind one, stand many.